Hi, this is Michael Yan at Compose Systems here in rainy Sacramento today. But that's okay. Uh, we're going to talk today a little bit about how to simulate Grackle within the Compose Express Rip using Color Pro. Uh, the Compose Express Rip, of course, is what is in the center of Express Label Print. Now, before we do anything, the first thing we've got to do is we've got to get the profiles. So let's go into a browser and you'll see here I'm going to grackle.org that's G-R-A-C-O-L dot org when I click on it um, it goes ahead and forwards at, us to um, the Idea Alliance who manages Grackle and you'll see here I have Grackle resources I want to click on that uh, once I get to Grackle resources I'm going to scroll down and you'll see right about here We've got the profiles. Here they are. Okay, so I click on that, and it will download them to your downloads folder. No problem. Uh, then you just click and say you want to show in folder, and you'll see here I've got a zipped archive. So I'm just going to drag that to the desktop for now, and we're done with that bit. All right, so now that we've uh, downloaded this uh, this uh, profile, we'll go ahead and extract it and just put it right there out on the desktop, no problem. There's our profile. That's what we're going to be using uh, a little bit later. Okay, so uh, the next thing that happens is that usually you've got uh, Express Label Print running. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, restore that. You can see here I've got it running. To, to edit the RIP, you have to stop the workflow, so we'll go ahead and stop our Express Label Print workflow. And now we're actually just going to go ahead and launch the RIP. So we'll just double click on the Express RIP. It will open up. Great. Uh, once you have this open, just... Okay, so uh, what we'll do is go under the color menu and we're going to install an ICC profile which is that one we just downloaded you can see here um, I've you know you can navigate right to the one that's on the desktop I select Grackle and I say OK now when you're presented with this dialog box we've got to do a few things so we're going to use it as our input profile and because we're actually using the output profile that we developed for this paper that you were given with the paper, we're going to just use it in what we call emulation mode. And when we click on install, it will go ahead and upload that into the RIP. Now, to actually activate it, I've got to go under my Color Setup Manager, which is the second item down. And once we're there, we need to select our device. So here I'm going to be selecting the Oki. Um, I am going to then say I want to make a new Color Pro setup. So here we have the large dialog box. Uh, it looks a little complicated, but we're going to step you through it one part at a time. So first we're going to go ahead and select the Grackle profile we downloaded. Uh, for any objects, type, or images that happen to be RGB in a PDF or a postscript file, we want to use the sRGB profile. Uh, leave color manage as gray. We want to turn on treat spot colors as CMYK. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about this a little later. And uh, we also want to uncheck preserve 100% black. This will give you a little bit darker, richer black uh, than just 100% black. Put some color in behind the black ink. Uh, you can leave the rest of these defaults. Uh, this one we want to turn on, and that's what I was talking about here with tree colors uh, as CYK. What this does is it does this as the last possible process in the conversion and it's going to use the Pantone color library, so that way uh, there is a Pantone library embedded in the RIP. We license from Pantone, and it will go ahead and use those. Uh, and that's, that's uh, the best possible uh, option there. So, uh, of course, 
The big important one to pick, of course, uh, we've spent a lot of time with the paper, uh, printing colors and making a really good profile for the paper. So you want to pick the paper profile as the output profile. And we are going to be simulating Grackle on that paper. So it, we need to pick that there. Uh, for main intent, we're going to select ICC Auto Switching and use Black Point Compensation. Get a nice smooth transition for our blacks that way. Um, if you're, I'm sure you're familiar with viewing booths. Uh, that is why we're going to select Graphic Arts D50. And for color adjustments, we definitely want to pick Accurate. So, we've gone ahead and, and selected these settings. Um, I would then hit Save As, and now we come up with a naming convention. We typically use uh, the color standard, device name, and paper as a naming convention. So in this case, we're going to use G-R-A-C-O-L, and then the device, which is the Oki uh, 510, and then for the paper, uh, I'm just going to do the 10,000, right? And we'll go ahead and save that. And there is our color setting. Great. Say OK. Now to assign this to a page setup, we go under the Express Rip menu and select Page Setup Manager. And you can see here we've got our page setup. We're going to go ahead and edit that. And under color, you can now see that this uh, is loaded here. We'll go ahead and select it there, and under calibration, we'll do the same, like that. Then we'll say OK, and click OK, and you're good to go.